Everyone knows the story of when Adam Brooks walked out of me in the middle of our tag team championship match and the feud that followed. But honestly, Adam Brooks broke my heart well before that happened. The end of 2014, our first run as tag team champions, Adam Brooks left Melbourne City Wrestling. He took a six month hiatus to go get his head straight. We weren't friends when we started teaming and I think our common interest in wrestling, not just wrestling, but our passion for it, our drive to succeed, I thought really bonded us. And then we reach that pinnacle. We have those tag championships. We have the longest reign in MCW history and you just notice him pull away a little bit and a little bit and these are the shows later and later and he's with management more and more and Adam didn't want to be a tag team wrestler he wanted to be a single superstar and it didn't matter to him how much of my own career I'd poured into making him my equal it didn't matter to him how much time and energy I'd spent refocusing to make us the best tag team this country had ever seen It didn't matter to him how much his friendship meant to me because he already had a best friend in Buddy Murphy. So when he came back to Melbourne City Wrestling, I wasn't surprised when he walked out. I knew that him coming back to be my friend didn't quite sit right. It didn't quite make sense. He always wanted what I had. And the fucking kicker with Adam Brooks is no matter how many times I beat him, People still tell me he's the best wrestler this country has ever produced. I beat him in a ladder match to become Inter-Commonwealth Champion. I beat him in an Iron Man match to prove I'm the better technician. And just for good measure, I beat him a third time in front of New Japan officials when Okada headlined our show. And yet without fail, people still talk about Adam Brooks like he's the best wrestler MCW has ever produced. Adam Brooks isn't fit to be in my ring. Adam Brooks isn't fit to represent the company that I have built. Because he doesn't have a passion for MCW. He doesn't want this place to succeed. What he wants is what's best for Adam Brooks. What he wants is to make his buddy proud of him, no matter the cost. I've already had my heart broken by that man. He will not take away the only thing that I have left to serve his ego.